today we had a launch party for the Artemis 1 rocket and there was a bunch of cool stuff to do. The launch party is STEM focused. We wanted to have different STEM activities for the children to participate in. We have take home constellations and make a moon crater and stomp rockets. We also had some astronaut food. The kids got to try Tang and see if they liked things that the astronauts had in space. And we just really wanted to generate excitement about our mission back to the moon. According to Greek mythology, Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology. And since the Apollo missions were on the moon, since we're going back to the moon, they decided to call it Artemis because we're going back. There are like moon pies and Oreos and mini Oreos, a cereal. We've talked about like um, astronauts and how they explore and what it looks like when astronauts go into space with their rocket. Today has been amazing. It's awesome to be in Cabot, to be celebrating this historic event with students who have an opportunity to see themselves as the future of the space program. Well, I definitely heard a couple of kids say that they wanted to be an astronaut when they grew up. So it's nice to know that um, we've already got some people that uh, uh, some people that are graduated from Cabot that are working on the program and maybe some future uh, program uh, coordinators too. Artemis One! We were so excited for the Artemis launch because one of our Southside kids, Amy Buck, actually had a huge part in the Artemis mission. We interviewed her. We started with the fourth grade documentary in our GT classroom and we interviewed Amy Buck and we learned about Amy Buck and um, we decided to share this with the whole school. I am proud because she worked on the Artemis One rocket. All of the orange stuff on the rocket she created, they are heat shields to keep the fuel inside very cold. Well, my guess is that they might um, just want to go back to the moon to just see what's changed and all. Um, so people can understand it and learn more about it. I hope that it will launch either tomorrow or someday this week because I really want it to see it launch live. I think it would be really cool to see it. Unfortunately, today's mission was scrubbed, but that's a good thing because there was a fuel tank leak. So NASA's figuring that out and they're going to problem solve that and hopefully we'll get to stream the launch in the future. But now all of the kids know what's happening and we have some awareness, so we're eagerly anticipating the launch of Artemis One.